I am Chris Lee. He is Blaine Gilmer. We are Southeastern 14. We are here to preview Mississippi State's game at Texas A&M on Saturday, over under of 44. A&M about an 18-point favorite, making for a predicted final of 31 to 13. Other computers and things of note. Jeff Sagrin has got AM a 16 point favorite, as does ESPN's FPI and team rankings. SP Plus has Texas AM a 17 point favorite. So everybody in that same range, both teams having disappointing seasons. State is four and five, AM five and four. This is a game where I don't think you want to be the losing coach in this for sure. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of pressure, obviously, on Jimbo Fisher, and and they're expected to win this one and not just win it. I think uh, for everything that's going on with Jimbo Fisher, quite honestly, they need to win going away. They need to dominate in this game. Um, and Zach Arnett is just looking for a way to spark something on on offense. Quite honestly, his defense um, did some good things. I went back and watched the film against Kentucky. You know, I can't tell you how good uh, Boogie Watson and and, and Jet Johnson play. They just play like their hairs on fire all the time, but you got to have a little bit of help around them, and that would help if they had a little better production on offense. So we'll get into that as we go throughout this preview here, Chris. Well, let's talk about when Mississippi State has the ball. It appears Mike Wright will be their quarterback again. Will Rogers has said he will will play in the Egg Bowl if his arm falls off. Let's hope that doesn't happen. I really like quote. Will Rogers. But uh, does not does not sound super promising for this weekend's game with with Mike Wright is just a different offense, and really not a very productive one so far. He's a guy who is a great runner. Passing skills are kind of questionable. State is averaging a little under twenty three points a game. A and M giving up a little under twenty two, and yards per play Mississippi State five and a half. A and M five point oh. To throw the stats out for Mississippi State offensively because. I think they've run about three different offenses this year. It's the it's the one they ran with Will Rogers that looked nothing like the one they ran in the past. <laughs> the one they ran with Will Rogers that at times looked more like what they've run in the past. And now this thing with, with Mike Wright. And, and I think they will be overmatched by AM's defense here. Yeah, the offensively, it's just been tough going. And like you said, when you don't have your trigger man, your guy who is a bona fide leader for that team in there in the huddle doing the things uh that he needs to do at the line of scrimmage it, it just hampers you a little bit and not only that they didn't have woody marks again for the second game uh in a row that he was hampered the week before then he didn't didn't play in this game um this past game against kentucky so when you don't have two of your best players on offense by far and away chris it's just it's just hard to do anything um you know, overly productive, and Mike Wright is not uh, a very gifted passer. Um, he's not able to to take care of the football when he does have to kind of force it down the field a little bit. And you know, if there's one thing Texas A and M is going to do, it's going to be restrict your ability to run the football and force you to get in obvious passing downs. And that is not a good recipe for Mike Wright. Now he does have legs, and he can he can absolutely fly. Um, so maybe they do some more design quarterback run type stuff, but. Then again, you're playing some thumpers over there and Edron Cooper and all those guys over there for Texas A&M, and that's not a recipe that's good for your health, in my opinion, over there if you run the quarterback too many times. So it's going to be it's going to be a tricky situation on the road at Kyle Field. Our preview is presented by Bet Online. The last of the major pro sports leagues is off and rolling. College basketball ready to go as well this week. Bet Online remains your top spot for all your live betting action and contests. NFL, college football, UFC, NHL are in full swing. Bet Online is your number one source for wagering news, odds, trends, and predictions. All the hoops betting action, along with every sport available at your fingertips, both desktop and mobile access at any time. Head to Bet Online today. Remember to use promo code BELIEVE, that is B L E A V, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet Online. Where the game starts. Okay, when Texas A&M has the football, Aggies averaging 32.3 a game, State giving up 25.6 a game, A&M averaging 5.9 a snap, running it 44% of the time, Mississippi State giving up 5.6 yards a snap. A&M doesn't turn it over a lot. Turnover is about 1.1% of the time. Look, um, 
State's defense is just asked to do a lot with its offense, unable to move the ball. a and still got all kinds of weapons. It feels to me like the Aggies have got an edge on this side of the matchup too. Yeah, and they did some good things against – you know, Ole Miss on the road this past week, even without Evan Stewart, who was a late scratch with a with yeah. a lower leg injury that nobody was expecting. Um, Max Johnson still holds on to the football entirely too long at times, in my opinion. There was a, even a verbal altercation between him and Jimbo Fisher of like telling him to get rid of the football at a little bit quicker pace there sometimes. But hey, he went 31 of 42 for 305 uh, against the number 10 team in the country on the road last week. And that was without his best receiver in Evan Stewart, uh, best, you know, number one bona fide receiver, most people think, but an electrifying guy. And I Smith got the ball. Jaday Walker uh, had a good day. They did lose Le'Veon Moss to injury during that game. Jimbo Fisher said after the game he didn't think it was anything that was going to require surgery, but he could be out, you know, a week, couple of days. You know, as fast as Jimbo talks, he's like, he's like, I don't know, it could be out a week, couple of days. Who knows? That, that's kind of kind of stuff. It kind of sounds like a mix between like like Elmer Fudd on uh, on Adderall or something like that. That's it's kind of how Jimbo goes about some of his press conferences. But when it came down to it, uh, Le'Veon Moss could be out. Um, Fortunately, they have depth there at running back position with Ruben Owens and Amari Daniels. Listen, they're going to be facing two. I cannot give enough flowers over there to Boogie Watson and, and Jet Johnson. I just watched some of the things that they did against Kentucky, and and I know that there's some a couple times where you know that defense does misfit gaps and stuff like that. But those two guys just play so hard and make make such good plays uh, over and over again. But they had bust on the back end and coverage and things like that. I think Max Johnson will be able to take advantage of that, even if he doesn't have um, Evan Stewart out there in this game. I just like Texas A&M to be able to set the tempo of this early um, and be able to to outpace them. And I think they'll they'll score their fair share of points in this game, Chris. Yeah, a couple of miscellaneous stats. AM penalized 53 yards a game, State 51, so no big difference there. Special teams, Mississippi State's ranks 24th in SP Plus's rankings. AM ranks 104th. I don't know how that happened suddenly, but they have really plummeted lately. So take that in consideration. But look, bottom line, AM has not won its share of football games the last couple of years, but as we said over and over and over, th- this team does not get blown out of many games. And I just think Mississippi State was going to have a hard time winning this game on the road, even if Will Rogers was healthy. He's not. They have not looked good with Mike Wright offensively. No, look, maybe it gets to Saturday, and Mississippi State is more interested in playing that game than A&M. Who knows this time of year? All kinds of stuff happens. But without having a crystal ball, it is hard for me to do anything other than than give the nod to A&M in this game since everything suggests a spread in the teens. Yeah, and we've seen A&M show up and be disinterested before in games and, and lose to teams they shouldn't have, a.k.a. Appalachian State last year and things of that nature. But um, that Appalachian State team that beat them last year had Chase Bryce at quarterback, a guy that effectively ran that offense. I don't think Mississippi State has that if Will Rogers is out um, with Mike Wright at quarterback. I just don't see him being able to do enough on a consistent basis to hurt that Texas a and defense. I think you'll see Max Johnson and company get a lot of short fields because of some turnovers and and and, and things of that nature. And I think you'll you'll just see Texas A&M end up pulling away in this one. It may not look pretty early because that's just what Texas A&M does, but I think by the end of the game they'll end up, you know, winning this by, you know, three scores or more before it's all said and done, Chris. Yeah, I think so too. Um, we're going to be previewing every single SEC game this week. Best way to get those, subscribe, enable your notifications so you catch them all. Hit the like button, tell a friend we thank you for watching us here at Southeastern 14. Got basketball content coming up this week, too, as the season gets started. Anyway, God bless you. Have a great day. Thanks for watching Southeastern 14 presented by Bet Online.